Okay, it's uh, December 2015. Um, put a wood stove in the alder too because uh, the uh, diesel uh, Wallace uh, stove heater and with a fridge under it situation isn't going to happen for a while because I've got to replace the boathouse and that's going to set this project back a couple of years. So um, I've decided to just get, it, to get some heat in here, put in a, a wood stove, uh, inexpensive wood stove. So um, it's oversized, so I filled half of it with uh, with cinder blocks or bricks and uh, cement board and then reflective cover around it. And the reflective cover stays cool even when I got a really good fire going in there, which is awesome. I use stainless steel pipe that I left over from the exhaust project. Um, to feed that up and I use uh, some high temp stuff here. I've just lit the fire so there's still water drops in there, condensation in there, but there's a high temp buffer in there to keep it away from this ring. But even then that ring is designed to take heat and I'll show that in a second. So right now I've got I've got a pretty good fire going in there. A lot bigger than most in a boat. And uh, it's probably got about 400 degree temperature in there. And I'll show And so that's where the pipe comes to. And then I just throw a cloth cover over that when it cools down and I'm done with it. And you can see there's water here. And that water doesn't even get hot. Uh, the top is very hot, of course, but down here it's cool and it doesn't get hot. So this is working really, really well. Um, very pleased with it. The downside is I can get um, backdraft if wind blows in this way. Uh, if the boat's on anchor, that's not gonna be a problem, but in the marina, yeah, I sometimes get wind blowing straight in there and I get a little bit of a backdraft, but it's working pretty good. Oh yeah, new stern light, a little crooked right now. But I put that on the other day again, just a quick fix because I need to use the boat. And uh, so that, that is the update for now.